Hi y'all, I'm back with another video. And as I said in my last video, this time I'm gonna make my community cacti succulent pot. So I got this pot left over from when I was repotting my ferns and I have decided that I'm going to make a community pot for some succulents and cacti. I have here three succulents that I don't know the name of. Um, one of them is kind of like a living stone, like a lithopa, but I know it's not one. And then I have these two cacti here. I think one is a pear cacti or something along that line. And this one, honestly, I have no clue what it is. And then this last one that I got um, from an online seller, it's very small and it's super adorable. It's like a perfectly hue. And I'm going to pot it up in this long shallow pot which is fine because um cacti and succulents usually don't have very deep going roots so not not being too deep is fine and then i was in the store looking at cacti and succulent soil mixes and i was planning on buying them but then i saw that like six or no 10 liters or five liters was like five euros and i was like no i'm not doing that so then i looked online and they said just Mix some regular soil with some sand, but I also didn't have sand, and I also didn't feel like buying sand. But then I remembered that we had some aquarium, like sand-esque stuff left over, and this is definitely not ideal. But I did not feel like buying an entire bag of sand, or buy an entire separate bag of soil. So it's this sand, um, gravel-like substance i don't know if you can see it maybe you can see it right here um and i'm just gonna mix some in it so that it'll retain less moisture because i'm a very big overwaterer so i really want to try and not kill these plants so i have this big bowl and i have this and i have my little bowl of soil so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mix let's say one two three four five six scoops of the soil with one, two, three scoops of this and just gonna see how it looks. Okay, so yeah, I think I can definitely add some more um, of the aquarium stuff. I definitely need to add more in general because this is not gonna be enough. So, I don't know, let's add two more scoops of the aquarium soil and then add about four more scoops of regular soil so it'll still be a two to one ratio so let's make this up because i just want to make sure that it retains less moisture so that way it um, won't be very moist all the time that way i'm less prone to overwatering because that's something i do a lot because I'm a fucking, what is it, a hovering parent, something like that. I just do it way too much. I pay way too much attention to them. I should really keep my distance sometimes. I can't, but I'm trying. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take more of these um, Lekka balls and I'm going to put a very shallow layer on the bottom. So if I do overwater them, the water will go into the Lekka layer. That way I'm going to hope that they don't drown. So, yeah, let's just go for it, you know? So, let's start off again with a little layer of Lekka. And like, I know them as hydro beads, but then, like, I saw a lot of people on YouTube calling them Lekka. So, I call them Lekka now, but is there anyone else who used to call them hydro beads? Because that's the name I was used to until I started watching YouTube. So, yeah. I have like not even an inch, I think like half an inch of Lekka right now. And I'm just gonna add my first initial layer of soil at the bottom. And then I'm gonna add my lovely succulents. And I think I'm gonna uh, put a succulent cacti, succulent cacti, succulent cacti. So like a little, I don't know, variety. I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just trying to make this look cool and I'm doing some things that I might not die, but I might die anyway. 
Also, I definitely don't have enough soil. I have to make more soil. Um, yeah, what else? I had a lot, a lot better. My day was a lot better today. Um, I was done a lot earlier with my practicals than I was expecting. Um, I lunched, I finished the fifth part of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, which took me way too fucking long. I have been reading this fourth part since November, probably earlier, probably like since the summer, honestly. This is going to be more of an eyeballing thing. Um, and honestly, I love the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books. Um, but the fourth book, it was, was all over the fucking place. At one point, I was like, I don't even know what the fuck's happening right now. So I finished that. I also really got into listening to books. So um, I don't have Audible or anything like that, but I do have Spotify. And apparently there's a lot of like older audiobooks in Spotify. So I'm listening to a bunch of those. Um, you apparently can also find some audiobooks on YouTube. So in the past like, two, three weeks, I've listened to Fahrenheit 451, um, Lord of the Flies, 1984, Picture of Gray. I'm listening to um, War of the Worlds right now. So yeah, I've been really doing good with my cultural upbringing of books. Um, what else have I done? Um, I really spent this weekend going to the gardening centers with my sister because she really likes doing stuff with me and I don't have a driver's license, but she does. So I'm like, let's do a brother-sister trip. And she's like, to where? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's like to the gardening center. And she's like, yeah, fine, why not? And then I'll usually buy a plant for her as a thank you for um, her taking me there. So let's see, we're gonna put you all the way in the corner. And which one should we put? We're gonna put, oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm just gonna use my sweater. Not out small, but we have to do something. I'm gonna put you right, oh, I'm stuck. You right here. Oh, this might not fit. Eh, we'll make it fit. Then we're gonna put, let's put the lip ops. Oh, I'm making a mess again. In the center right here. Um, then, Oh, this one hurt. I got so many of those little orange pokey things in my fingers. And let me tell you, not pleasant. That hurts like a bitch. Also, today's my dad's birthday, which is really fun because that means we're going out to dinner, which is really exciting. My parents are coming to um, my student city and they're picking me up and we're going somewhere. I don't know where we're going, but exciting. Um, So yeah. So what else? Um, it's almost finals week for me, and I'm not excited because, as I told you, um, my the course I'm doing right now is a lot of practicals, so we're not spending any time at all on um, theoretical like lectures and stuff. So no one has any idea um, what the exam is going to be about. I'm just using this pen to. Oh, casually lift this up um so yeah what else um i don't know i really don't have anything else to tell you guys how have you guys been um i don't know actually today is a gorgeous day it was sunny all day unlike the past two weeks which have been constant rain like a literal constant rain so I'm really happy that we finally have some good weather right now. Oh, ow, this hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm making a mess again. <sighs> I really should have learned. Um, yeah, so what I think I'm going to do with this um, community thing is not water it at all, pretty much. Like, just not, because I always think they need very little water, and then I still give them too much water. So I'm really just going to give it no water until it's completely dried out and then I'm going to water it. And then even when I'm watering it, I'm not going to give it too much water. I'm just going to give it a little bit of water. Um, but I am going to probably put it in my windowsill in direct sun because I think that most cacti succulents can handle direct sun. 
So, and if it doesn't work out, I'll um, end up moving them eventually. So yeah, um, I need more soil. I'm just gonna steal some, some soil from here. Cause I don't feel like getting that. Um, yeah, just me. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I have returned. More of this. Yeah, I'm really, since I don't really know any of these plants and I'm really don't have any experience with um, succulents or cacti. This is both a new experience for me and you. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll keep you updated on if it grows, if it dies. I mean, I'm hoping it won't die because then I would have wasted some money. But actually they were not that expensive. I bought six of these small ones. So with one of the um, string of turtles for 10 euros, which is actually not bad. Cacti for some reason are usually pretty expensive. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, I still don't want them to die, but um, if they do end up dying, it's not the end of the world, which the end of the world was a really fucking good show. Really loved it. Really liked the actors. I'm very happy they stopped after two seasons because I actually um, watch a lot of TV and my biggest pet peeve with TV shows is them they keep renewing shows that are perfectly fine with ending after like three or four seasons and they keep pulling it out for more and more and more seasons and sometimes I'm just like oh my god just let it die a peaceful death why do you need to fucking stretch it out for five ten seasons like supernatural there was no need for 15 seasons of Supernatural, and for some reason I still watch all of them. Because when I watch something, I just cannot not finish it. The only TV show I ever deliberately, deliberately stopped watching is Prison Break, because unlike popular opinion, opinion, I thought it was so fucking boring. I literally stopped at the season finale of season one because I just could not bear it any longer. Um. I've been actually trying to not watch as many as TV shows as I did. I've been trying to finish a bunch of TV shows and when I do start new TV shows, I make sure that they're already finished or they're about to finish or they're not like very far ahead so I can catch up easily and then like keep track of them. So like the latest TV show I've been watching was How to Get Away with Murder and the last season is busy right now. So, um, that's something I'm watching. And then what else? Um, I've been watching Sabrina, which is also a really fun TV show. Um, I remember I mean, the third season was a little bit eh, icky for me. It was fun, but I don't know where they're exactly going. I thought that the ending was a pretty good ending, but then I know there's gonna be another season. So I'm wondering what they're gonna do with it. So then lastly, I'm gonna put this pup in. I don't think I'm gonna put it right in between here and i actually um, asked the seller online which is always a good idea if you buy stuff online ask the people who you bought it from what their advice is for like how to acclimate it to your house so i asked them and they told me that the cactus was good to be put in soil immediately so that's what i'm doing i'm putting it in soil immediately and then lastly um i saw this somewhere putting a little layer of little rocks over your cacti and soil stuff actually like was supposed to help so i'm just going to put a little bit of my aquarium soil over the top do you hear all those little beads dropping oh i just just vacuumed my room so on the inside i'm crying now um to get go back to the tv shows again i just well just like a month ago i finished oh that leaf broke off i finished um the good place and let me tell you i cried like a little baby because i have been watching that show since it aired and i was very invested with the characters i really like Kristen bell 
and it just i'm not gonna spoil it because i think everyone should watch it because i think it is very good uh, messaging about just like people in general and how to be a good person but oh my god when like the classical song started when speaking with spiegel started playing i wept like a little baby because i i'm not a person who cries a lot like i will cry but i usually won't cry during tv shows or books but this show made me cry twice actually so yeah um what else i don't know i'm actually done with the community box i think it looks freaking adorable so here are the two cacti the little third cacti is over here and then three succulents I'm gonna give it some water um, in a bit and then hope it grows and stays happy. I think it will. Um, I think cacti and succulents are honestly a lot easier than I think they are. I just usually overwater them. But I'll keep you updated. And yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry if this video was all over the place for me going and talking about plans to TV shows about how the weather was. But I don't know, that's kind of my life right now. Um, I'm starting a new job which is really exciting i'm trying to like make feel better um i'm very busy with school i'm still going from my student city to my parents house every weekend so my life's kind of been all over the place but um yeah i'm trying to get it i don't know what is the word for that i'm trying to i'm trying to get my life in order i'm really trying to get my life in order and just get my shit straight and honestly i think that youtube is helping with that because it's forcing me to, I don't know, take time to make videos, to edit videos. It's really like forcing me to plan in my um, activities during the day. So yeah, thank you for watching again. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye.